Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. So I know these videos are totally different than the travel and the tech videos that you are used to seeing us make, but you know what? It is just getting so darn expensive to take your car to a shop or to a dealership to have some, something simple like getting your oil change done, uh, which is something that's actually pretty darn simple to do with this particular vehicle. So I want to remind you that uh, we are not ASC certified mechanics. We are just, um, we looked up the same videos you guys did and uh, we said, well, we can do an oil change and we can do X, Y, and Z. And so we just wanted to show you with how easy or how potentially difficult it is for you guys to potentially do that. So like with the oil change, I do recommend that you do have a good jack and jack stand and you jack it up yourself, it gives you easier access to the oil filter. So to get to the drain plug, it's about halfway under the car. So it is a little bit deep under the car. So just keep that in mind. But as far as like the, uh, as far as refilling the oil and getting the dipstick, it's all very, very simple up top on the car. Again, if you'd like to do this on your own, it is gonna be at your own risk, but uh, we just wanted to show you our experience doing this. So here we go. So this pickup truck was equipped with a 5.7 liter V8. You'll definitely want to reference a website or a parts store to double check your filter type. And then we also did use a 15 millimeter ratchet socket combo and it does need a 22 millimeter tire iron. So one of the first things we've got to do is jack up the car. We are going to use this jack point right here and you can see it right here. This is the frame of the car for the most stability. So in addition to using a regular 22 millimeter tire iron, this is our lug wrench that we're using right here. These were actually on here super tight. The first one was okay, but then for the other ones, we actually did use a pipe as a breaker bar that we attached the end to help us remove and loosen these lug nuts. It was already on the jack point here, as you're gonna see. And then when you do jack it up, you'll definitely wanna make sure that you distribute the weight evenly between the jack stand and the jack just to ensure that if your jack ever does give that your jack stand is there as a backup. I don't know if you can see that over there that blue oil filter we are going to change the oil and the filter on this 1998 Chevy 1500 Z71 4x4. All right so I am a good ways underneath the car so came in from the driver's side and right here is the oil pan and uh, what fits nicely is a 15 millimeter and we want to make sure we've got our half inch ratchet set to loosen which we do and we're going to go right there i've got the oil pan right here we're going to push up loosen it up like we just did all right, so. This gives you the actual drain pan. So it's got enough tension on here to where we have to use Make sure we've got this right here. And what we're also going to do, we're also going to remove from the top the, the oil reservoir to make sure we loosen that up so we've got good airflow going through here. And hopefully this doesn't come back at me. So moving on to the oil filter, uh, my brother-in-law actually came in here from the top area right through that fender well and was able to get it loosened. And then after he got it loosened, was able to just hand it to me down below where we had already had a drain pan uh, awaiting for the dripping oil. So it, it was a little bit on the hard side to get it off there. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you could fit a oil filter wrench on there. Maybe you could, but he was able to get his hands on there and just loosen it. With this, when you do 
put the new one back on, you don't want to over tighten it, but you do want to just crush a little bit of that rubber washer down to get the proper tightness. But again, you don't want to reef on it to where it's going to be super hard to get off there. So we had waited a few minutes before I put this drain pan bolt back on just to make sure that we had drained as much of that old oil as possible. Again, we just started by hand to make sure we are not cross threading it. And then we're just putting that 15 millimeter back on. We want to just give it uh, a little bit of a tighten to where after it's pretty tight, just give it oh, about a quarter of a turn just to make sure that there is no drip. Again, you don't want to you don't want to over tighten it to where it's just going to make it just darn impossible to get that off of there. And then what we're going to do also is we're going to take that brand new oil filter that you're going to see and we're just going to lube up that oil filter. We're going to put a little bit of grease on there uh, just around the actual rubber part and around the, the threads. Um, that's what I've always been taught to do, but uh, that's what we do just to make sure that uh, we do get a good seal and a good fitment. So the very last part from underneath the car is we're going to be putting this oil filter back on. I'm actually using a rag because this oil filter does not have a grip on there so the rag will help me just get it a little bit on the tighter side. So once we get it all completely snug we just give it again just that little bit of a quarter turn, maybe an eighth of a turn, just to get it snug to make sure there's no oil leaks. All right, so we've got the oil filter put back. We've got the drain plug put back. This is what we loosen up from up top. So we are gonna put our funnel right there. We've got our oil cap right here on this side. As you can see, we've got that loosened and we're gonna put in a full five quarts. Very soon. So yes, we do end up putting a full five quarts in here, but if you are unsure or you don't think you got the oil completely drained out of there, you can check it at four or four and a half just to ensure that you are not overfilling. But yes, we do use a full five quarts and then we do check it on level ground. We actually do turn on the car, make sure that the oil is running through and to the filter. And then we check it again on level ground to make sure we are completely full, which we indeed are. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully it helped you out. Thank you very much.